The two officials today in this program, firstly, Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, 50th anniversary, which is called BJ Divas, and the other program is the Jan Jagan Adyan, is what they call it in Hindi. It is about an agitation being called from the grassroots level, which the Congress Party is undertaking today. And in this program, as I take the part of the welcoming uh, all of you in this function, I would also would like to, uh, while welcoming you, I also would like to share that Congress Party, as we belong to, has achieved so many great things for the country. And we have ruled the countries for so many years. During our time of running the affairs of the government in the country, many important events also has come on our way which we have undertaken and for the Bangladesh Liberation War which is a very important event that has taken place we have secured the independence liberated the people of Bangladesh as a situation and it is because of that Indian government like uh, we have the resource person, people who are in charge of these programs are there, so uh, they will be taking part, they will be explaining to us. So with this, in this welcoming address, I also just like uh, highlight some of the points for which we are having this program today. And I hope that with your strong cooperation in everything that the party uh, do, we will be able to achieve it in a small way that we will be contributing for the party. And I hope that every one of us, after hearing from the resource person, the person in charge of the program, uh, I think uh, we will have to come out in a big manner, in a divided manner, in one policy, and fight for the rights of the people. Thank you. Respected Working President Shri Trevi, Respected Vice President Shri Aluminati, my fellow colleague Mr. Shabno Kunyak Dhan Secretary, Pradhan Chiefs, officials from DCC Kohima, and all members present here. Today, in the first session, I have been given a topic to speak on Bangladesh Fictive Anniversary Celebrations of Bangladesh Liberation War. I am not keeping well for some time because of constant travel things and I'm not going to go for weddings and other social occasions. But then it's not Corona, so I don't have to learn any of you to clear for myself. And in the meantime, this topic I have prepared. And if I go on speaking and someone like you with a military background, a student of military history and also a Dhaka congressman, I can go on for, for hours and hours talking about the significance of this Bangladesh Liberation War and how it changed the geopolitics of the continent and also how it altered the politics of the nation. But since we have two programs, I'll not be going to do a long speech. I'll try to tell this topic in some 15, 20 minutes so that you get a gist of what exactly the significance is. Many of us were not born when this war had taken place and where India emerged victorious. 50 years have passed by, and this year, on 16th of December, that is the day where Pakistan surrendered. We are going to have a national level function in Delhi also. 
this photo on my on your right side is a very significant photo where Pakistani General Niazi is signing the surrender documents in front of General Jagjit Singh Arora, the GOS of Eastern Command. And if you see these days on Twitter, the Indian Army Chief, wherever he addresses the press meet or press conference, the photo of this will always be the background. And also with the BJP's obsession to regulate Pakistan, this photo has become a very iconic photo. Why? Because the Jalun Niyazi who surrendered is an uncle of present Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. So this is how we score our brownie points also. Having said that, let me also tell you one significance of this war is this is the first time where any prime minister of any nation have taken a bold decision to change the political map of a hostile nation, which only Indira Gandhi and Congress has done. Had it been done during Modi's time, Modi would have been declared as war. Because in today's time, of course, I'm not demeaning the sacrifices and the valor acts of our armed forces, but then just some raid across the velocity where in our time also we used to do it. That is hyped as a surgical strike and that is hyped as a bold and decisive leadership of Modi. If Modi had this done this, he would have been literally immortalized. But from our Congress, we believe in low key, we believe in humility, humbleness, and that is where we also tend to forget our history also. So today let's take an occasion to remember how and what exactly happened and why should we remember this as one of the landmark steps taken by our leadership and why Congress needs to be remembered for creation of Bangladesh. <clears throat> I will not go much into the background. You all know when India was partitioned in 1947, West Pakistan and East Pakistan, Pakistan came into being. <coughs> the geographical distance between two nations was quite very far. It was unprecedented also. In the elections held in 1970, what happened is Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the, his party in East Pakistan secured a majority and they were supposed to take over the government. But the problem is the government of Zafikur Ali Bhutto in West Pakistan refused to handle the power and that is where the crisis started. And when the crisis started, when Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was imprisoned, was under, under house arrest, the Pakistani army in Dhaka in Bangladesh started a crackdown on the political activists and almost all the opposition leaders were jailed, hunted down and so With a gradual increase of atrocities on the innocent populations, the inflow of Bangladesh population, so we call it refugee in the, in the states of Tripura, West Bengal and Assam, reached alarming proportions. <coughs> and that is how India had to step in. I would not dwell much on what happened in between, <coughs> but then the humanitarian crisis was so big that it uh, even attracted the global attention. But then the leadership, the Congress leadership at that point of time had to do a very fine balancing act. We had just come up, come up out of uh, 1965 war with Pakistan, and then it was hardly another five years, and then another war clause was on the horizon. But then we could have uh, already the political leadership of that time, seeing the humanitarian crisis, wanted to go for an immediate offensive also. But then, owing to the nature of terrain and uh, weather conditions, this was all <coughs> postponed. And it was only in December when full-scale operations was launched in Bangladesh. But before that, already the former Bengali soldiers in the East Pakistani army had already deserted and it was Indians who were training the a guerrilla force called Mukti Bhani IMT. I believe most of you must have heard about that. And that